Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me for a night out. So tonight I'm going out with some friends, so I thought it would be fun to film the whole process from like makeup to hair to outfit. Um, yes, I do have a shirt on, by the way. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was really fun to film for you. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe down below. We did hit 1,000 subscribers, which I'm so excited about. So thank you so much to each and every one of you. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's just hop right into it. So I'm just starting out by priming my eyes just with some concealer. This one's the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I think it's a really good concealer to do this because it is pretty full coverage and we want full coverage everywhere today. So I'm just going to blend that in. This is just like a little L'Oreal um, yeah, makeup sponge. I don't know. It's pretty good. I like to use this for my eyes to blend it out just because... This does not get in the little creases, and I need to get a new. I actually did get a new one. I don't know why oh, it looks so dirty. I don't know why I haven't switched over to my new one yet. I just love this one. I'm just setting this down with some translucent powder now, so it's not tacky anymore. Doesn't crease. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. So tonight is like a rave night, and I don't know. I'm just not, like, rave isn't really my style. I like soft, neutral. So I think I'm going to do, like, a very simple eye look and then add in, like, a pop of color. Maybe in the inner corner is what I'll do is what I'm thinking. Maybe do a wing, but I don't think I'm going to go crazy because I don't want to be, like, that person that shows up with, like, crazy eyeshadow and then no one else has um, that stuff on. So we're just going to keep it, keep it, play it safe and do it very neutral. And I'm just going to take the Urban Decay Born to Run palette and then I'm just going to take the shade Riff right here. I like to use this as just like a really nice transition color. It's a really, just a really good color. And this is a Morphe R37 and I'm just going to pop this into the crease. Now that that's done, I'm going to try some winged liner. I haven't done winged liner, I feel like, in forever, and especially with a gel. So I'm going to try to use this, um, what is this? I think this is, Ing oh, it's Inglot. This is the Inglot gel liner in the shade 77. I know, like, a lot of people used to use this. Mine's probably so dried up, though, actually. <gasps> oh, my gosh. It's so dry and crumbled. But we're going to try to make it work. I'm also using the Inglot brush. So this is the Inglot brush, um, the 31 T brush. I like this because it's super sharp and really pointed, so it's really easy to make a straight line. But we're going to see how this goes. So I want to do kind of like a shorter but thicker wing, I think is kind of what I want to do. Yeah, this is so dried up, you guys. This is bad. And I don't have any eye drops to loosen it up. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do is just use this to outline. And then I'm going to have to go in with a felt liner. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to fill this in with just this. But I do like the shape that I have going. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of stamp out the same shape on the other eye. And then I'm going to have to go in and fill it in with like another shade. So this one is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, like their skinny liner. And I'm just going to kind of fill in where I mapped out. And see, I kind of like gel liners better though because they're not as harsh. You know what I mean? More of a softer, subtle look. So for lashes, I've been using these lashes nonstop. These are the Lily lashes in the style LA. They're so pretty. I've actually never ordered a pair of Lily Lashes before until I ordered these because they're so expensive. Like, I've always wanted the Miamis, but for some reason... Oh my gosh, my hair looks so bad in the back. But for some reason, I just can't get myself to spend, like, $30 on a pair of eyelashes. But I got these because they were on sale for $11 on Lily Lashes' website, and I've never had a pair of Lily Lashes before. And they're actually really nice. I will admit that. They're really, really good quality. You can really tell the difference. I think they look really pretty. Actually, when I wore these too, I had someone ask me if I had lash extensions. So I think that they're a really good, pretty strip lash. I'm just applying some duo lash glue on them. So now the lashes are on, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the face and then we'll kind of move back to the eyes and eyebrows. But I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin with the teeny tiny Benefit Professional Eye Primer. Uh, or eye primer, <laughs> what the heck? Uh, Benefit Professional Face Primer. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this, like squirt it out. 
I'm gonna put this pretty much kind of all over my face but really focus it in my t-zone I forgot how much I liked this primer I know this is like such a throwback primer but it's so good so I'm just using this to smooth out everywhere I have a little bit of texture I think that this primer does a really good job of that especially like on my chin for some reason my chin like within the past like few years I would say like two years especially I mean just ha I just have so much texture on my chin and I'm not really sure why like I've never really struggled with acne or texture for the rest of my face I'm just using this Maybelline master prime this is the blur and smooth one and I'm just gonna take this on the outer edges of my face. This one's more of like, I feel like a moisturizing one. It says it's the blur and smooth, but I don't think it like smooths or blurs nearly as well as the Benefit one, but I just, I just like it. I feel like it feels really refreshing on the skin, and I just like to put a barrier in between my makeup and my skin. I feel like no matter what primer you use, it kind of just helps make your makeup look a lot better. I love this silk robe so much, but I never wear it because it never stays closed, ever. It just opens. Like, I have this tied so tight, and then it's because the material is like so slick, you know what I mean? It just does not stay closed. Does anyone else have this trouble with silk robes? Because it's so cute, but it's just not really wearable. I'm moving on to foundation. I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. This is, it has like a lot of good ingredients in it for your skin. I will say it does have SPF in it, so I'm sure it probably does have a little bit of a flashback. But I'm not really going to be taking any pictures tonight probably, or like... If I am in any pictures, I don't think it's going to give me a flashback like crazy crazy. Um, I just probably wouldn't take any selfies with a flash with this foundation with the SPF. So I like to apply this one with a brush. I'm just using this Real Techniques. This one's the like complexion, the expert face brush. And I just kind of like pat it and rub it around and blend it in. I have mine in the shade MW2 by the way. It's kind of my self tan shade. I'm like in between shades right now. I like I self tanned a few days ago so it might be a little bit dark for me but we can make it work. We can drag it down the neck. So I guess I'll fill you in a little bit more on what I'm doing tonight. So um there's like a rave night on campus tonight at one of the bars that a lot of people always go to and I'm not really a big um, bar or rave person <laughs> but a girl that I work with um, she actually DJs and she is DJing there tonight and so a lot of us from work are going there to support her and I think it's really cool that she got a little thing on campus on like a rave night so her and like another DJ are going to be DJing the bar so that's strictly why I'm going <laughs> is on a support item not drinking. For concealer I'm just going to use the Makeup Revolution concealer. This is the same one I use to prime my eyes. This is in the shade C5. This is their Conceal and Define Concealer. It's a really, really good concealer. Really full coverage. If I'm going out, usually I go for really full coverage. So I'm just putting this in all the usual places to highlight. And then I'm going in with this little L'Oreal sponge. And I'm just going to go and blend it out. Sometimes, too, if I have my eyes already done, I'll take a little brush like this. And kind of go in and pat it out just so that way I don't accidentally like stamp my eyeshadow so this is what I usually do to get like really nice and close especially in this like little crease here in the corner of my eye so also while I'm here because I'm probably gonna be blending this out for a minute I also want to say thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers we finally hit it I'm so excited I just can't believe it so thank you so much to each and every one of you who are subscribed or if, even if you're watching this video I really really appreciate it I'm just so excited. It's just like a milestone in my YouTube journey, and I'm just so thankful. I know it took a while to get get here, but you know what I mean? We made it. Our first thousand, we made it. Hopefully there's many more to come. I'm planning like a big um, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm just going to get some stuff together, so definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because I will be doing that very, very soon. For you guys which I'm really excited about I've always like dreamed of planning my like big 1,000 subscriber giveaway because I feel like that's just like a really special number um it's like the first thousand which is like really cool so thank you guys especially if you've been here with me since the beginning um I really appreciate it I'm gonna apply some powder really quick and then I'll continue otherwise I'll be here for an hour but I'm just using Laura Mercier for underneath my eyes really quickly with this um Morphe M438 brush and 
gonna pop this underneath the eyes but what I was saying is I know I have a lot of new subscribers as well so if you're new hello welcome if you are new comment down below and let me know that you're new yeah I just want to say hi to you guys I love interacting with you guys I think it's so cool when you comment on my videos so if you are new comment down below and let me know and i'll definitely be sure to say hi to you and just for kind of anyone even if you are new aren't new be sure to comment any video ideas that you guys want to see from me down below and i'll be sure to do them for you guys um it can literally be anything college video vlogs cooking videos um beauty videos i'm trying to kind of expand my channel a little bit and i think that that's the issue with my channel before was is was only doing makeup and because I was like I like my channel was just growing so slow and so I've kind of been branching out and doing other videos kind of incorporating makeup but also like I did a Starbucks video college videos and my channel has grown so much faster since I've been incorporating those videos um, on my channel and so now I think I just want to kind of keep the ball rolling and just do a little bit of everything do beauty but also do lifestyle fashion a little bit of everything so be sure to comment any video ideas you want to see from me really relating to anything and I'll do them for you did I even say I didn't even say what I'm doing now this is the makeup revolution luxury baking powder in the shade banana and I'm just dumping it into the teeny tiny cap and setting the rest of my face here for bronzer I'm using the Too Faced sweetheart bronzer in the shade sweet tea and I like this bronzer it has a little bit of a sheen to it and I'm using the morphe r2 brush so this is a really good bronzer. Definitely one of my favorites. I'm just using this to bronze up my skin. And my forehead as well. Definitely my favorite part to bronze. And I'm also going to kind of take it back here on my ears and on my jawline and on my neck. Just kind of bronze a little bit everywhere. Since I am going out tonight, I'm going to try, try to contour my nose. I'm not going to say it's going to go well, but I'm going to try. All right. It's all that matters. It's worth a shot. Let me try to find a clean brush in here first. I'm, I've just always been so bad at contouring my nose for some reason. I just, I'm just not good at it. This is a hula bronzer, by the way, by benefit. Okay, so now that I feel like we got it to like an okay place, not really okay, but I'm gonna go ahead with my powder brush and just kind of blend it out. I do this every time. I feel like it makes it look a lot more natural. All right, not the best, not the worst. This side doesn't look bad. This side is a little. It's a little iffy, but I think once we highlight and stuff, it'll look okay. So we're going to go ahead and leave that alone before it gets any worse. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some blush. This is the Tarte Amazonian Blush, um, Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party. So I'm just applying this on the apples of my cheeks here. And to highlight, I'm going to take it back and use an oldie but a goodie. This is the Becca Highlighter in Prosecco Pop. And I haven't used a Becca Highlighter in forever. So I'm taking it on my nose and then down the bridge of my nose a little bit. I need my eyebrows done so bad. And then I'm also just going to take a little bit on my cheeks here. Okay, well my camera is actually dying, so I'm going to go ahead and get some water. I do my brows, just take a little intermission, and then I'll be right back. So I'm back, brows are done. I also went ahead and finished my lower lash line. I just put that shade of Riff underneath and then popped on Sephora Mascara. So and now it's time to finish up the eyes and do lips and then we'll move on to the hair and the outfit. So for the eyes, I do want to apply a little bit of glitter. I'm just going to apply a thin line on top of my eyeliner. I should have definitely done this before my lashes. Oh, this is going to be hard. Okay, I'm definitely going to need to touch up <laughs> my eyeliner after this. Okay, that's really pretty. So now I'm going to go over the black eyeliner again just to kind of define that. So I feel like that looks good. It's kind of fun. Just a thin line of glitter over top of my eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and define my lips with this lip liner. This is the NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige. And I'm not going to put this everywhere, only the parts of my lips that I want to make look bigger. And then I'm going to put on my Fenty Beauty Glip Gloss. This one's like the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. This is such a good lip gloss. Cool. Okay, makeup done. Now moving on to the hair. My hair right now is like somewhat straightened, somewhat not. Kind of could use touched up. 
I don't know. I think I want to wear it up though. I don't think I want to wear it down. I just don't really feel like doing it and I think it's just going to be a lot easier just to throw it up. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out my outfit, show you guys what I'm wearing, and then we'll do my hair. Because I have to like do my hair based on my outfit. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and pick it out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I just threw on this white tube top from American Eagle. And then I just have on... Oh, well, that's embarrassing. And then I just have on... Um, these black jeans right here and then I just have on bull jewelry so I think that this is what I'm gonna do for my outfit I know on camera it looks like I don't have a top on but I promise I do so for my hair I think I kind of want to just wear it like how I had it like in a low loose and messy bun is kind of what I'm feeling um also yes my armpits are shaved they just don't look shaved. They literally never, ever look shaved, which is always really embarrassing, but I promise they're shaved. They're freshly shaved. So I'm just going to throw it in a loose, messy bun and see how that looks. So just pulling it back. And then we're going to start pulling some pieces out. just like that and that's pretty much the extent of what i do to my hair i never do it and if i do this is what we do i almost forgot to of course if we're gonna wear strapless always highlight your chest a little bit i always use the same highlighter that i use on my face and we're just gonna you know I mean? oh, highlight the shoulders up a little bit it just makes it a little bit more flattering give us a little glow but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so fun to film. I'm glad I showed you guys everything from like my makeup to my hair, even though my hair literally took like 20 seconds, and then my outfit as well. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.